everybody. It's me, Justin, aka Gobo Hunter, and I'm back with another pickups video. But I got a special guest in the in the studio. This is not a studio. This is more of a man cave. This is this is something that's going to kill me. Uh, one of these days, the walls will fall on me, and the only one that will be able to save me is going to be Teddy. And Teddy, Teddy is for... fucking blind, folks. He has no eyes. Actually, here's a funny thing. I keep his eyeballs <laughs> up here on the ledge. Someone told me they could fix him, but I don't believe them. But anyways, yes, who are you, sir? I am Bob from RetroRGB.com. I, I like beer and old video games. I'll cheers to that. So, yes, we are going to go through a box of crap I've had sitting that has had babies and just probably spiders of some sorts inside. So, without further ado, let's do an impromptu quick up. Quick up. A quick everybody, up. quick up. A quick up. Everybody, don't quick go up. hiccup, hiccup, because everybody wants to get sick up. Sick up. You wanted to? No, you didn't want it to. At least you wanted to. You wanted to pick up this Spider Woman VHS. I had these back in the day. You ever Spider had, Woman? You ever no, had any of those from those. Marvel? Do you yeah, have a VHS wall? I don't. So I've seen literally every single one of his videos, and it none of the, the room videos ever do this justice. This place is fucking awesome. It, uh... You can swear in your videos, right? Oh yeah, totally. I don't give a fucking fuck. Fucking awesome. Yeah. So it's a, you do need a VHS corner in your wall somewhere uh, for these things. You got a couple of good ones. Um, uh, as far as VHS tapes? Yeah. I do. They're all porno, though. <laughs> but I do have Yoshi's Island promotional VHS. Circa 1995. I like how the case is upside down. It really is. You have to you take the tape off. The, yeah. Maybe because that's Mario and he flies out that way. I don't know. Um, I never understood why they did it the other way. Because think about it. You would pick up your VHS tape and it would fall out. Oh. This is the way it should have been. Just, it's even written. Uh, it's, yeah. yeah. So it's a fail on Nintendo's promotional. Uh, well, it's a win for Nintendo, a yeah. fail for everybody else that did it. So, way. if anyone who doesn't know, probably sold at uh, Toys R Us. Uh, you, I think, pre-ordered it. You got uh, a promotional VHS in the mail, or yeah, it was mailed Nintendo to you. Power. Um, if you either subscribed to it or if you sent in like a card for something. Um, I think My Life in Gaming did a whole video on uh, on different VHS tapes like that. It was a cat. That's not a pickup. That's actually his cat. She's coming to you in 3D. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. Anywho. Oh, oh, a blue. So, I found a blue Wii. Ooh, Wii! It's a blue Wii! This is the Mario Kart 7? No, it might be 7. Yeah. Uh, where's the big box? It's somewhere around here. Anyways, yes, this is a exclusive to the big bundle that came with Mario Kart and the Wii. It was blue, and uh, I don't know why it was blue, but... I have the blue controller that matches, but not the blue. Not the blue I don't Wii. have the blue. I have the pink controller, but that didn't come with this. It came with Princess Peach controller only. So anyways, I don't know if it works. Actually, it didn't have a game inside of it, I think. Hmm. Which most of the time, like this, Xbox 360? Xbox 360. This is the Elite version, I believe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't have the power supply. I bought it off a girl on OfferUp for 20 bucks. So I thought it was a pretty good deal. It's a model I didn't have, and I'm guessing it works. It still looks like it's never been opened, but again, I think some of these can red ring, but I don't know. If for 20 bucks, I'll take a shot. Yeah. And I don't know if it has a game inside of it, as I say. It uses a really weird one prong uh elite power brick can you hack those to play games off a hard drive the elites uh i know can, what's you have to flash the drive with the firmware or yeah like that. they had i know back in the day on the original xbox 360 they had something called jtag we actually had to have a probe and you had to probe the motherboard to find the special key that you could then i guess yeah. flash a lot of the games too but never got into that I own every game I play, but I like to try a whole bunch before I actually buy them, because most I don't like, so oh, that's yeah. why I always hack my consoles. And most. I never was a 360 guy, but I did own one. I want to say the community for the Xbox 360 was a lot better than it was for uh, PlayStation 3, and going forward, I think, um, they've 
been a little bit better as far as community wide. It's easier to find people to play games with and interact, but anywho, the cat wants to get down on this. We got some Saturn games. For all you Saturn lovers out, leave a comment below. Tell me what your favorite Saturn game is. And if you tell me that your favorite Saturn game is Panzer Dragoon Saga, guess what? No. Just unsubscribe, delete your <laughs> channel. I don't think I've ever played that. I'll never own that game. But I will own Area 51. Awesome midway game back in the arcade. Shooting zombie peoples. Oh, that could be used with the, the Saturn, the Virtua Gun, right? Yes, I was actually, that's why I have it hooked up right now, because I was playing it. Awesome. Because I wanted to re relive all those full mo full motion video moments that are just so cringy. I love Saturn like a game. Oh, so really... Virtual Cop is still holds up. I, I still yeah, love that game. Absolutely. You know what doesn't hold up? Resurrection! Rise of Robots Dose. If you've ever played Rise of Robots, then you will not want to play this game. It is probably the uh, cringiest, weirdest f robot CG fighting game. It was like back when CG models were just terrible. And it was like a weird, it wasn't like a, I'm sorry, I'm from the school of Street Fighter where it's gotta be a quarter circle forward, quarter circle back, and a punch button. I'm not Mortal Kombat back, forward, punch, or back back forward love mortal Kombat. yeah uh Still know all the moves. this is like some weird way of the warrior in the 3do where it's like hold this then do up up down down left right left right ba base left, oh right. yeah those those do kind of get me the hold combos and shit like that. music is pretty good it's kind of like a, a a very metal kind of i mean they're robots so it's obviously they're made out of metal some of them are probably made out of liquid metal but yeah not very good and for what i paid i probably should be killed now this, I've been looking for this game, Title Legends, on the PlayStation 2. It, it was also on the Xbox, but this I found on OfferUp for $3, and it was complete. And the, the girl that had it said she had it in her bedroom and she never played it. She, so that's games like Space Invaders and uh, Bubble Space Bobble, Gun, I think, I know, or maybe Rainbow Gun. Islands. Yeah. Sequel, Operation Wolf, yeah. So most of these, uh, most of these compilation games actually run on a software emulator for the target machine, so there's a, uh, about two frames of lag, uh, which for some of these old games you'll actually notice. Yep. And now you know. And knowing's half the battle. G.I. <laughs> Joe! So that was a good deal. Some action, someone actually offered her $8 and said, please, please, please sell me this, and she said no on the principle of she couldn't do that morally to sell it for a higher value to someone other than me so there you go uh, never heard of this game it is a nintendo game called rock and ball i only bought it because it was seven dollars and it's the box. box yeah well it's missing the manual but interesting oh. note they have karaoke on laserdisc folks all right, so this is this is every 80s kid. Everybody who grew up in the 80s, their mom dressed them like this at one point with the super short shorts. Look at this, the headband. I think there is a picture of me with a headband and the short shorts when I was like four years old. Yeah, oh, that's, yeah. Uh, that's embarrassing. And look at that hot pink. And the manual somewhere. The 80s oh, pastel maybe it's here. colors. Wait, wait. Yeah. Here it is. So now it is complete, except I still need to get some foam for the fucking um, anyone who knows who back in the day the Nintendo games they came with a little piece of uh, polyester foam at the bottom so just to keep everything straight uh, otherwise it's flopping around there like my dick uh, I got this retro receiver from 8-bit do so here's a, here's another nerd you guys are gonna have to deal with me nerding the fuck out on all this stuff um, Bluetooth, the wireless Bluetooth protocol has variable lag. So when you play it on modern consoles, it doesn't matter because the developers keep that in mind. But when you take something like that, which allows you to put Bluetooth controllers on a Nintendo, and then you go to play something like Mega Man 2 when you have to jump on those following platforms, if it was, if it just added one frame of lag consistently, it's fine. But when it's sometimes a half a frame, sometimes two frames, you end up screwing up and yeah. So I never use my 8-bit Joe controllers. Don't yeah. look at that over there. Oh, yeah, I, I see the SNES one. I bought yeah. it. 
So I bought these only because, actually I didn't buy these uh, when uh, Joshua, aka JCAU99, and Rich, aka Burning Toys, came to visit me all the way from Alabama, Rich all the way from Canada, went to my Urza store, and I think for like two bucks a piece, I got these PC Engine Super CD games, only because, I mean, they're in, they're Japanese up the ass. How the, how the fuck am I gonna be able to understand that moon language? I mean, I can understand what this one says, Babel. But this one, I don't know. Something too, dose. I have a couple of Japanese games, and I still use the uh, English translation ISOs. I yeah. just burn them to a CD. I mean, for two bucks, I'll take them. I mean, yeah, you can't sell them, but I'll take it. Maximum Carnage at a Goodwill. I like that game. Yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. No, I it's mean, Combat Cars. Or Combat, oh, Maximum Carnage. What's was... Maximum Carnage? It's maximum combat. Carnage was a Super Nintendo Sega Genesis game featuring Carnage, Venom, yeah. and Spytorb Man. That's not no, what this that's is. This is combat, combat cars. cars. Why that's, did I say Mac? I don't know. Maybe because they're cars and they could do Maximum Carnage? Possibly. Uh, that game's just okay. Yeah. So I think I bought that for only because I didn't find it. Uh, Ten bucks at a flea market. Puzzle. Uh, puzzle Dragon. Puzzle. No. Puzzle and Dragon Z and Puzzle and Dragon. Super Mario Bros. Edition. Hmm. I bought it because I've heard good things about it. And... I like to play puzzle games at work, so I figured, why the hell not? I mean, yeah, it's funny. Wait, because it's the title very clearly is trying to get you to buy a Dragon Ball Z Super Mario game, and then you find out it's a puzzle game. It's a puzzle game, but um, it was ten bucks on the sticker, but for some reason on the spine it said seventeen. You probably can't see that, but uh, she looked at both the spine and the front and sold the for 10, so I was very thankful. Maybe yeah. she, she recognized that I go to that little booth a lot. Uh, at the same Goodwill that I did not find Maximum Carnage, but Combat Cars, I found Boxing Legends of the Ring. This is, I mean, feel, feel how heavy this thing is. Yeah, why? A big manual in there You think it's like heavyweights are in there, right? Big ass manual. I guess. Let's and see. an insert and stuff. Oh boy. Is there a poster? There is a poster. Here we go, folks. Oh, shit. No, there, not only is it a poster, I dare you Look to mail that this. in. <laughs> shit. I dare you to cut that out and mail that Look in. Look at how big that registration is. Holy shit, is this for people that are like, have glaucoma and can't read? That's I mean, awesome. Look at all the stuff you can buy. Hats, t-shirts. What is electro flashing button? Yeah. Dude, I think this is kind of going three to four weeks. <laughs> <laughs> London Publishing Company in Pennsylvania, Fort Worth. I think we might have to try this, folks. We might have to see if this actually does still work. I doubt it does, but whoever receives it, I hope they get a response. That's funny as hell. But that was the bulk of it, I guess. There was a while back, somebody sent in a broken uh, floppy disk drive to, I think, iOmega or something, because they had a lifetime warranty. What? And they mailed one back to them. Holy shit. Hey, it was only a couple months ago. Does iOmega still make stuff? I didn't think so. Maybe it wasn't iOmega, but it was huh. a company that that's still around that made floppy disks. I think it's a puzzle game on the Saturn. It is, I can't read what the name is, and I can't read what that name is. So do you actually have a Japanese Saturn, or do you just use a mod chip to play these? Uh, no, I actually do own a Japanese two Saturns, Sega right? Saturn. I have the gray Sega Saturn, which is the Japanese, which I believe is the Model 1. I think the Model 2 was white. And I have the Model 1 North American black uh, Sega Saturn. The one gotcha. with the curved, I think that's, I, I don't know. From your videos, I gather I have the Model 1. And from your site, <laughs> RetroRGB.com. Right. Thank you for the plug. Uh, if it's oval, it's a Model 1. If it's round buttons, it's a Model 2. Okay, I have, is that only the? The power and reset buttons. Okay, so the power and reset are oval, it's a Model 1. one. If it's yeah. circle, it's Model 2, so I own a Model 2. Gotcha. Okay. But anyways, I think it's a Tetris type game. I mean, it's got pretty pretty anime women in it, and they drop jewels. And then they have cutscenes, which maybe they get topless? I don't know. I can only hope. I mean, I bought it. Will you buy it? <laughs> Do you have any other recommendations you'd like to see, Bob? Because I'm 
if you could name something that is pretty awesome that I could pull from this box. I mean, I don't know what's in the box. Uh, do you have a favorite game, maybe on a Nintendo or so, maybe that you liked growing up that you probably all would... of the Mario games and the Zelda games? And... Well, if you like the Mario games, you're gonna love the ah. Super Mario Brothers 3 Challenge set. This is the one Challenge that was. Challenge set. Oh, that came with the. Uh, it boxed with. Yeah. There right you go. up there, folks. We're going up top. Uh, we're going, oh, right up top. So, I did not own the challenge set growing up, and I did not own this game, but when I saw one for, I think it was like 30, 40 bucks on eBay, I had to jump on it. So for 30, 40 bucks, we're gonna have a nice, complete challenge set. And uh, look at it, it just, it's pretty much, it's just a retail copy with just a challenge set, pretty much masking tape all the way down the front of it. Mario looks like he's got a super rad mustache as his challenge set. I never understood why he grew ears when he got the tail as well. I mean, do raccoons? Or, or, and why do raccoons fly? Or is it a... No. There's the tanuki and the raccoon. Yeah, so this the is the raccoon. Tanuki stands there like a statue. Yeah, with big balls. Yeah. He's got the biggest balls. Okay. The A90s. Uh, we got Darksiders Wii U. I know it, uh, THQ Nordic just came out and they pretty much, I don't know, resurrecting a lot of the old THQ IPs. So when this came out, it's one of the last games that'll probably come out on the Wii U. I had to buy it. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you ever played Darksiders? It's uh, kind of like a Zelda clone. No, I should probably go after that. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. Um, I played the first one and I'm working on playing the second one. I think we'll add these all to the same. Same shebang, shebang, ooh, ooh, shebang, she moves, she moves, ooh, she moves. So then this is a by a by association. This is a piece of shit. I mean, I wouldn't definitely wouldn't call it a piece of shit. And if you're like in Zelda See, Link to the Past and you're just kind of wandering around collecting stuff, it's fine. But for someone like Bob, he would notice. For someone like me, yeah. probably more of a casual gamer than I have been in recent years, I probably wouldn't notice it much. Funny, I actually don't really even play games that much anymore because I spend all my time on the stupid website, but um, I still it's notice lag really, really easily. I was just uh, testing something else the other day, a different wireless controller, and I didn't no lag at all, and then I switched to a different one just to test it out, and I could feel it instantly. It almost feels like a squishy button is the best way I could describe Ooh, it. I got some squishy buttons. I bet you do. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. <laughs> 